أبي بن كعب رضي الله عنه كان له جرن من تمر he had a vessel or you can say a bowl of tamar of dates الجرن comes from the word جيران and جيران is the actual proper name of the neck of a camel so you see the neck of a camel how it's long so this جرن that أبي بن كعب رضي الله عنه had it seemed to be like very long and it was hollow and the dates would be put inside of it that were, that this is where the dates were فكان ينقص and so Ubayy ibn, Ubay ibn Ka'ab radiyallahu anhu realized that it's decreasing every day. He's coming to it and it has less and less and he's not eating from it. None of his family members are eating from it. Where is it going? فحرسه ذات ليلة He made an intention that he will stay awake the night to guard this vessel and bowl of dates. And this is يعني, from his humility. He didn't go and get a guard to secure it for him. He himself is going to guard his own property. فإذا هو بدابة شبه الغلام المحتلم And that night he was guarding the vessel, the bowl of dates. All of a sudden, he saw a creation that looked like a young man. Uh, and يعني, subhanallah, this is the bravery of Ubay ibn Ka'ab رضي الله عنه. He did not move. فسلم عليه فرد عليه السلام Ubay gave this weird-looking creature a salam, and this creature sent his salam back to Ubay radiyallahu anhu. Strength and courage. He didn't fear anything. فقال من أنت؟ Ubay said to this creature, Who are you? Jinniyun am insi? Are you a jinn or an ins? From the jinn kind or mankind? قال جنني. This creation said, I'm from al jinn. قال فلا ولني يدك. Ubay radiyallahu anhu said to this creature. Give me your hand. فَنَاوَلَهُ يَدُهُ So this creature gave Ubay his hand. فَإِذَا يَدُهُ يَدُ كَلْبٍ وَشَعْرُهُ شَعْرُ كَلْبٍ And so the hand looked exactly like the leg of a dog and it had the hair of a dog on it. And so a jinn can appear in certain forms and they speak to mankind. This is something يعني, uh, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahu Allah he mentioned that a jinn can appear in the image of humans and in the image of animals. They can appear as snakes, as spiders, camels, cows, sheep, horse. They can appear like donkeys, birds. And they can even appear in real human form of people that are known. Such as a shaytan when he appeared to Quraysh in the form of Suraq ibn Malik radiallahu anhu. When Quraysh were about to leave to Badr, shaytan came and took the image of a companion Suraq ibn Malik and this is mentioned in the Quran, Allah Azza wa Jalla said, وَإِذْ زَيَّنَ لَهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَعْمَالَهُمْ وَقَالَ لَا غَالِبَ لَكُمُ الْيَوْمَ مِنَ النَّاسِ وَإِنِّي جَارٌ لَكُمْ He was saying to them, the, the, the jinn that appeared to Quraysh, he was saying to them that today no one will be victorious over you and I will be your companion, I will defend you. So, قَالَ الْجِنِّيُّ هَذَا خَلْقُ الْجِنِّ So now going back to that story, الْجِنِّي, this creation that Ubay now is in his presence, this jinni, he said, هَذَا خَلْقُ الْجِنْ Because Ubay was holding his hand confused. What is this? So this jinni said, this is how we, al-jinn, are created. You know, when Ubay felt his hand, he realized that it was skinny and it was weak because that's the leg of a dog. And al-jinni realized that Ubay perhaps would have thought that, that Ubay is thinking about this creature that he's a very weak jinni. He's not as strong as other jinnis. So the jinni said to Ubay, قَالَ قَدْ عَلِمَتِ الْجِنُّ أَنَّ مَا فِيهِمْ رَجُلٌ أَشَدُّ مِنِّي So Ubay is touching his hand. It seems to be weak and skinny. This jinni realized that Ubay is thinking of me as some weak, skinny person. So al jinni said to Ubay, the jinn know very well that I'm the strongest one among them. And this is implying that this is how they are created and he is indeed the strongest one among them. قَالَ فَمَا جَاءَ بِكْ Ubay said to him, what brings you to my house? قَالَ بَلَغَنَا أَنَّكَ تُحِبُّ الصَّدَقَةَ فَجِئْنَا نُصِبُ مِنْ طَعَامِكَ He said, we have been informed that you love to give charity. So we came to take from this food that you have. We شوف, يعني here we're learning that al-jinn, they know the situation of mankind. Some jinn know about the situation of some of mankind. ويعني this is something that is known to Shaykh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah رحمه الله he mentioned that al-jinn 
could steal from human beings. They steal the jewelry. They steal money of the human beings. You know, sometimes money can go missing from the house while no one has ever entered your house. Where did it go? Allahu A'lam. If it's not you or someone else in the family, then perhaps it could be a jinn that stole this money or this jewelry or some possession in the house. And this is proven in the Quran when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, قَالَ عِفْرِيتٌ مِّنَ الْجِنِّ أَنَا آتِيكَ بِهِ قَبْلَ أَن تَقُومَ مِن مَقَامِكَ al ifrit that said to Sulaiman alayhi salam, I will go and get the throne of the queen of Saba, Balqis, and I'll bring it to you. So this is something that is, uh, that is known. This is why it's very important to read this ayah, ayat al-Kursi. قَالَ فَمَا يُنْجِينَ مِنْكُمْ أُبَيْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ said to this jinni, what saves us and protects us from you people? So al-jinni said, هذه الآية التي في سورة البقرة الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم والجن سد من قالها حين يمسي أجير منا حتى يصبح ومن قالها حين يصبح أجير منا حتى يمسي. so he said whoever recites this ayah ayat al kursi whoever recites it as he enters the evening يعني at evening time will be saved and protected from us until the morning. And whoever recites it in the morning will be saved and protected from us until the evening. Ujira minna. Ujira meaning he will be saved from us and our evil. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is protecting and saving the servants from the devils and al jinn. And if Allah azza wa jal was to save someone from harm, then absolutely no one will ever be able to harm him. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described himself in the Quran, he said, قُلْ مَنْ بِيَدِهِ مَلَكُوتُ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ وَهُوَ يُجِيرُ وَلَا يُجَارُ عَلَيْهِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ Allah Azza wa Jal from his sifat, from his attributes is that يُجِير He's the one who يُجِير meaning he protects and he's the one who saves سبحانه وتعالى والمُجِير is not a name of Allah Azza wa Jal So this is a attribute of Allah المُجِير or we say Allah يُجِيرُ عِبَادَهُ he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the one who saves whoever he wants to save. وَلَا يُجَارُ عَلَيْهِ And no one can save anyone from any form of punishment if Allah Azza wa Jal willed a punishment for a person. فَلَمَّا أصبح, So when Ubay radiallahu anhu woke up the next morning, أتى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم He went to the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم فذكر ذلك له and he mentioned to him the story that had happened to him last night. So then the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Sadaqan khabith. The evil one has spoken the truth. A shaytan from his names is al khabith. That khabith has spoken the truth. Ayat al Kursi is very powerful in the Quran. And whenever you recite these verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects you from jinns and shayateens. And Shaitan himself said it when he got caught in the hand of a Sahaba while stealing dates from him. And Rasulullah said, Shaitan told the truth though he is a liar. So Ayatul Kursi is very powerful and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shields you when you recite these verses and in many hadith it said that when you recite ayatul kursi after every obligatory prayers after five daily salah then after your death you will be in jannah the only thing that stops you from jannah is death so recite ayatul kursi frequently at least recite it five times a day after five daily salah it's easy to memorize it's easy to remember and it's easy to recite. Just learn this ayatul kursi and always recite it and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you, Allah will shower mercy on you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you from all sorts of harms.